And here's the reason we are in storm watch. <laughs> it doesn't actually look so bad earlier today, but in St. John's, Newfoundland, hours upon hours of freezing rain today, only four centimeters of snow, but winds gusting well into the evening, over 100K. Cash Badurka with you here. Your national forecast begins right here because this is where we're seeing the most intense weather by far. Take a look at this. In the Rec House region, a gust clocked at 170K. This is hurricane force winds we're talking here. And a lot of snow we had already. 41 centimeters fell in the Bathurst region. Uh, pretty heavy amounts as well right across the maritime provinces. But we still do have a wind warning in effect for parts of Newfoundland. And it includes the Avalon. We're, we're still seeing gusts around 100K. Uh, the Rec House region as well with winter storm warnings. Basically, the snow continues to fly. And again, it's being kicked up by those winds. But you have seen your heaviest snow. So that's out of the way. Now just some residual snow flying. And again, a drop of instability. And behind it, I'll show you how that's playing out. Still a warning for you in parts of uh, Cape Breton. That's your storm surge warning, which we're suspecting it's going to be dropped soon. Tightly packed ISO bars here. And the tighter the packed uh, these bars, the stronger your wind. So of course, we have that going on. That's pushing out of the way through the evening hours. But wait a minute. Have a look at this trough of instability and behind it and then some sea effect flurries. So a little bit uh, unsettled again for you in Newfoundland and also parts of PEI and Cape Breton too, where obviously this was the product. You know, many problems on the roads out there. We have a lot of video of that actually, sadly, for today. And you know, it's a Sunday, right? It's almost surprising because not as much activity on the roads, right? You'd think. Five to ten centimeters likely to fall through southern Ontario. This is going to be Monday late day into your Tuesday. Why? Because of the next system that's moving in, a clipper system. But we still do have have sunny skies in place for you tomorrow. A little on the chilly side, not as chilly as it was today. Uh, and here's that next low. So that should be moving in tomorrow afternoon, evening. The closer you are to the GTA, it's going to be a late day story into your overnight and then still some flurries flying into your commute on your Tuesday. So pack your patience out there. Sorry uh, that we've been talking about this weekend and the avalanche risk is pretty severe, pretty high tomorrow. And here's why really more snow to come and more rains. And of course, we've got more on this story coming up. Kitchener Waterloo got hit a little bit harder with that. Cash of Adorco with you here Sunday night in the GTA. Thanks for joining us. Okay, a few systems I need to tell you about because this next one is going to be impacting us late day Monday. So for those of you lucky enough to have family day, most of the day will be great. Actually, here's that clipper system that impacted us earlier than high pressure. That means sunny skies, which we had also tomorrow. But this moving in through the evening, then picking up through the late evening overnight, still residual snow flying in the morning hours uh, as you are heading back to work. But then another system moves into the region later in the week, but then temperatures are boosting up. So that means the possibility of freezing rain, some ice pellets, possibly even rain, depending on how high those temperatures do get. And right now it looks like it could get quite mild, actually, four or five degrees. Uh, it's a little far in advance, but we can tell you that this next system, so uh, Monday night into your Tuesday, five to 10 centimeters, could fall throughout the GTA and all the way up through to Kingston, down to southwestern Ontario. I want you to stay with us because we've got some great ideas for you for family day. Don't go anywhere. And that commute to work will be Tuesday morning because tomorrow a lot of us are off for family day. Well, two people who aren't off, Mike Arsenal, Cash Badurka, we're going to be here. I'm here in the morning. Cash, you'll be here during the afternoon show. Sure, and we're almost too coordinated, and that wasn't planned. And, you know, of course, you can't plan your weather story as well. Uh, so what's really happening, for the most part, should be quite nice throughout much of the day tomorrow, and then the clouds building in into the afternoon, early evening, a flurry or so, but then really building into the evening, the overnight, and then Tuesday, as Mike had mentioned, Tuesday, your drive in could be a little on the dicey side. Now, how much snow are we expecting from this system? Five to 10 centimeters generally throughout much of southern Ontario, stretching really from Windsor all the way towards Kingston and Brockville and up towards cottage country. But it is family day weekend, so if you're looking for something to do with the kids tomorrow, maybe some tobogganing. Uh huh, love it. Um, have you been tobogganing this year? I haven't. I can't. <laughs> or in the past 10 years? <laughs> no, I can't find my GT racer that I had when I was like six or seven. Sweet. That's the only thing I can go down the hill on. Yeah, I that's had it. one as well. There's one right there, I think. Ah. I didn't know they still made them. Here's three other cool things <laughs> okay, that you can check out for that. this family day weekend. In fact, the one I'm looking forward to is the Great Canadian and Bowl because actually, you're going to that, aren't you? I certainly am, and I know you've been encouraging me to uh, to get involved. Mm -hmm. 
Are you going to be? Uh, I will be interviewing people, basically jumping into a really, really cold pool. You said you saw ice there last year. Yeah, I was there actually training is when I started. Kevin was there. He didn't yeah. do it there. But okay. it was literally covered in ice, much like the Great Lakes sure. are covered in ice, and he didn't do it. So it's for a great cause. So sure. I don't know. Maybe you should maybe. It's for kids with cancer. It is, yeah. People yeah, are raising, raising yeah. money. They're jumping into this really, really cold pool. But you have done that, by the way, so I'll be there. But you have vacation coming, so you're probably not going to do it because Cash That's doesn't exactly want to get sick for her vacation. So. Yeah. Going to Hawaii. Okay, but enough about that. We're talking about the ice on the Great Lakes. Great side point, right? We're talking about the Great Canadian Polar Dip. Uh, the Greeks are actually melting a little bit. We noticed from last weekend, the so temperatures have been boosting up a little bit. If we do see any snow squalls, then it would be from Lake Ontario. Because we're looking at, again, uh, massive ice coverage for Lake Erie, Lake Huron, and also Lake Superior, which is kind of fair. Lake Superior is up at 81%, considering it is so deep. So as we take a look tomorrow, lots of sunshine for the tobogganing, the snow late Monday into Tuesday, and then temperatures will be on the rise as we get into the next week. That's right, and then we do have another system that's going to be affecting us later into the week, so late day Thursday into Friday, and it could very well be a freezing wet or rain story, ice pellets, rain as well. Uh, so, yeah, plenty of active weather to look forward to. And stay tuned tomorrow. I'll be here in the morning. Cash will be in the afternoon.